Hey Libra, this is Ascension Empress with your general bonus reading. This is for my sun, moon, and rising Libra. Please take what resonates with you and leave the rest. And I hope everyone is doing well. May peace and blessings be upon you all. Y'all, ooh, see? Alrighty, we gonna see y'all. No, I don't think I don't think that popped out in you know what? That would make sense. Okay, I think it popped out in the third party energy, but I was thinking at first Aries, y'all been having a lot of that opposition energy. I feel like because the temperance keeps coming out. So the collective has really been challenged to temperance the opposite, okay, opposite energy. Okay, even I'm hearing opposite arguments or a perspective, right? Because there are people who are choosing to be in this energy. Um, there are some relationships and connections that are being brought to an end, a completion. Because, you know, there's been a lot of masculine energy who's been indecisive. They think that not making a decision or leaving someone, um, I'm hearing without information, is going to keep them stuck. It's going to buy them time. Y'all, Libra, I feel like for you and Virgo especially... This season is nothing but preparation and protection is what I'm hearing. Preparation and protection for this Libra season that y'all are entering. Because not only is it y'all season, okay, but it is going to be a retrograde. So there's going to be some energy around you where everybody act like they don't have some sense, right? Some people will not have sense. Um, so protect your energy now. So we're saying go ahead and get into the practice of how you know yeah what you're going to allow in your space right because there's been a huge shift lately so i'm excited i'm excited Ooh, look at that spirit is too say well, let's go ahead and start the reading right and y'all are too excited about the shifts that are coming in right and i feel like you may not this yeah this two of swords could be you know feeling like there's a decision or you can't make a <laughs> yep, you can't make a decision yet. You feel like, you know, there's not enough information or maybe you're torn um, because I'm, I'm hearing some opinions. Wait, I'm hearing uh, waiting for more information, waiting for your ships to come in, waiting for I'm here waiting to make a move. Y'all, mm. <laughs> this is something. All right. I do get somebody's torn. So, Spirit, what messages do we have going into the past? Yeah. Especially when it comes to communicating. Okay, so someone could be waiting on someone to communicate a decision. Or someone's torn about it. And that's why, okay. Mm, Ten of Pentacles. Right? And it could have to do with family. I'm hearing legacy. Right? Ooh, this is strong. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, I'm definitely getting legacy energy because someone's wondering if they, if they should go the distance. Y'all, Sagittarius, Gemini, a lot, a lot of the signs strongly been getting that energy around moving, like physical move. All right. Spirit, what messages do we have going forward? What messages do we have? Yep, see? Right? And then that's been the issue. That's been the blockage for many, right? Not knowing or feeling stuck, feeling bound, feeling, you know, people are waiting to get out of a contract as well, right? And again, there could be external opinions, external interference is what I'm hearing. I'm um, factors, right? I feel like it, it could be spirit is saying it's mental, okay? There's something around, oh, procrastination. Spirit said be mindful of procrastination, Okay, and it could have to do with some type of preparing. I'm hearing. Okay, and pretending not to see. Oh, Spirit says don't pretend not to see something or try to ignore something, right? Because you got the Ten of Pentacles going to the past. There's a promise. There was a promise then. And there's a, okay, okay. Spirit is saying be patient. Be patient about the ships that are coming in because 
there could be something some outside information something that comes in that you know has you like wait a minute like now you feel like you have to make a decision because now i'm picking up on that seven of cups energy but really it's temptation right tempting your patience tempting your faith and what spirit has coming in for you all right and i feel like like the collective energy you know it's a warning because if you don't pass the test this Libra season, yeah, your season, right? And when Mercury's retrograde could really have you feeling, you know, really like you can't move. Okay, so, y'all, let's see. What messages do we have overlaying the reading? What messages do we have overlaying the reading? Wow, that is so interesting. Yeah. See, and I said it'll have you feeling like you can't move. So there is somebody who wants to physically move. And then there's something around decision making. I'm hearing but procrastination or pretending not to see something with the five of swords, right? This is like spirit is one. I'm getting there's the enemy that is trying to play mind games with you, right? That I feel like some of y'all were probably sure about something or you could see something clearly. And then some external energy now is here like got you five of swords, right? But spirit saying, oh, yeah, spirit said tap into me. Like I'm going to need you to retreat, retreat back to me, right? So that you can be in this queen of wands energy being passionate, knowing, right? Knowing that you're going to manifest what is secure for you, right? What is comfortable, what's going to allow you. Yeah, okay. I think... Was it Aries? I think Aries got that energy, okay, around the Four of Wands, right? A house, yeah, a house feeling like a home, right? And then here you have the Four of Cups here and the Ten of Wands. So there is a move, but I'm hearing there's a weight, right? And Spirit wants, yeah, because they need you to be a little more invested is what I'm hearing. That's been a message for the collective, right? And that's only because Spirit is aware that the enemy is out here trying to play with the divine collective's mind, right? Which is going to get in the way of the time, the love, the gratitude that they're giving Spirit so that they can heal, so that they can tap in, so that they can be on fire like this, so that they can make this move, right? So there's the isolation that we were talking about in your last reading, right? This is amazing. This is amazing. Spirit, look at that. Wow. Look at, oh my gosh. Wow. Yes. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Look at that. I said there is that isolation, right? Look at you receiving the message. You, look at you probably even going without or making a sacrifice, you know, just waiting, following your intuition, right? There may be some insecurity, but you sitting with it, right? You learning from it becoming very wise from being i'm here rejected or maybe abandoned right because now you're receiving message messages from spirit right now that dream that vision you know that may have you know got interfered with and played with is becoming bigger it's involving spirit this is amazing y'all what messages do you have for Libra? What, ah, ooh, yeah, I was like, ooh, is it recording? I pray it's recording. <laughs> I don't know what made me think that. Yeah, Spirit. Okay, so what messages? Look at that. See? Hangman and the Eight of Pentacles. Mm, that's what I'm talking about. That eight, right? You got eight, eight, eight. Right? That's amazing. The only thing I don't see is the eight of wands, that communication that and it's, huh, it's happening when you're in this queen of cups energy. It's happening while you're in this queen of wands energy. You are the empress. You are the high priestess, right? Spirit is like, uh, -uh right? Yes, they're feeling unsatisfied by maybe some connections or some relationships that they I'm hearing. Oh, you some y'all. Okay. Spirit is saying, yes, you overgave and you were given nothing in return right you feel like you were just left um yeah somebody feels like you were just left for dead right to carry this burden right or just show no love show no appreciation right but spirit's like continue to work with me right continue let me oh yeah spirit's like let me work through you like let, yes let me work in you okay on you right look at this heart 
look at this expansion your vision getting bigger and what emotional baggage what tie right is coming with you nothing nothing that doesn't serve you y'all this is amazing what's the overall message what's the overall message for my libra spirit then I want to pull a divine feminine. Oh, see, <gasps> look, look, you better let spirit work with you, work through you, in you, on you, right? Plug, make plans for it, make room. Because I'm hearing spirit about to make room for you. There is about to be multiple. Yep, I'm hearing a multiple, right? For the empress, I'm hearing the empress that plans, man or woman, right? Take it how it resonates. Planning. What the, it's the spiritual work, okay? It's the spiritual work, and eight to nine, spirit gonna show you how they work, right? Spirit, God's like, let me show you how I work. Let me show you how I work when you let me work in you and you choose to work. Like just, <sighs> look. Somebody may have lost a job is what I'm getting with the five of pentacles here. Or you may feel like, you know, it's just you not having enough. You're not satisfied. There's healing you would like. Yeah. Over your finances with the four of swords. Okay. You just want peace of mind over some type of security. Right. You want to feel. Yes. Somebody wants to be comfortable. Something around and secure around a decision. Right. And I feel like there is a time, a, a period where you're going to have to have faith and, and still press on. And, and I'm here and plan. Make make plans with spirit, right? I'm hearing that time that's invested is gonna play a huge role in the healing of many areas of your life, y'all. This is thank you, spirit. One more overall, <laughs> the overall, overall spirit. Mm -hmm. Three cards. <gasps> Look at that, y'all. Look at it. I'm so excited for you. Okay, just take it how it resonates. I love the nine of wands in this day. Look how she's standing, right? No, she know who behind everything, behind the healing, right? Behind the perspective, the wisdom, right? Behind the gift, behind the move, knowing when to move, right? Spirit is telling you to have faith while you wait and also have faith when it's time to jump, y'all. And you're going to be blessed. You're going to be blessed through it all. I'm so excited for you. Okay, so what's the overall message? Overall divine feminine message from my Libra spirit. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, okay. It says, Our Lady of Exalted Light. I give endlessly because the light is without end. My soul is all I need. Right? That high priestess energy is so strong. And some of y'all, you are aware that this is a season where some connections, some things just don't interest you anymore. Right? And you are going through the shift. You're going through the separation. You're becoming enlightened. And you're just like, okay, well, yeah, I'm here honing in on what spirit wants you to do in the meantime or see or learn, right? But spirit, I want you to just sit there and soak or, you know, let the spirit of depression and anxiety, anxiety take advantage of this four cups. Yeah, I was going to say four pinnacles. Okay, so somebody could really be feeling like this or, you know, going through this energy because of something with finances, right? And it leaves you stuck it leaves you stagnant it leaves you procrastinating is what i'm hearing okay so and that could yeah that could be somebody's escape right or mechanism yeah their defense yeah some type of escapism but spirit is saying there is light right there is light because at the bottom of the deck you have the goddess of abundance right i choose to feel abundant wealth is an inside job it's an inside job that's why spirit has you inside alone with spirit yes wow okay yeah so there's going to be i'm hearing a silence there's going to be a silence there's going to be a completion here all right but there i'm also hearing there's going to be peace of mind okay so whew, that was interesting i feel like the enemy does not want like yeah they may not want you to speak either because you got 888 here, y'all. There is a powerful change. And the only thing that's not out here is the eight of wands, which is very powerful. So, you know, there could be this confusion and wanting to keep you up in your head so that you don't express 
this truth, right? And what God is doing in you is what I'm hearing because you might free up a lot of people. So be aware of that. That's why the enemy is testing you, all right? Testing you, testing me, testing many messengers, right? So continue to use your discernment, seek God, and choose love. I love you all. Take care. Bye.